What's up you guys? Welcome back to another video and welcome back to another I just created an NFL player on a rugby video game. Yes, that's right. We're creating OBJ <sighs> Geez, that was definitely one of the first names that got given to me when I started wanting to you know uh, Watch uh, the, the the best of the current players in the NFL, right? So this is two years ago when I started since then he's, he's switched from the the Giants to the Browns and I don't know whether he's actually gotten better since um, but with all that being said I feel like it's it's only just for me to still include him in this team of NFL players this rugby team of NFL players the whole overall goal of this guys is to create these individual videos creating these individual NFL players and the thing I want to see and the thing a lot of people want to see is how these guys would go in the game of rugby, right? We've seen a few rugby players go over to NFL and try it. We really haven't seen too many NFL stars or NFL players, uh, you know, transition over into the game of rugby. Although I do feel as though rugby as a world game is only getting bigger and gaining more momentum. And I think athletes from, from sports all over the world will see rugby, will see the spectacle it is, and will really dream once they know the rules, um, will really dream of, of playing rugby and especially playing rugby for their country because rugby is a world game and rugby has a World Cup every four years and it doesn't matter whether you're from New Zealand or from the States. You still can represent your country every single year. There's international test matches. That's what you play for. That's what you play your club rugby for. That's what you play your representative rugby for. You play it so you can get picked in an international team and play international tests. And uh, well, I just love rugby. I really do. You know, this video is two minutes old and I've already gone off on a tangent. I've literally forgotten forgotten what I was even doing. Which player was I making? Fucking OBJ, that's right. Anyways, today's mission is uh, to create Odell Beckham Jr. in the game of Rugby Challenge 3. EA Sports brought out Rugby 04, 05, 06 and 08 and they were absolutely fantastic games. Everyone that loved rugby at the time absolutely loved those games. But obviously there weren't, there weren't as many people that would have probably bought that game as there would be now, okay? EA Sports have not brought out a rugby game in 12 years. Apparently, they're bringing out Rugby 21. Apparently. But they keep saying that. I, mean, I think they were saying 18, 19, 20. Anyway, apparently 21 is coming out. You know, if anyone from EA Sports, if anyone from fucking any video game publishers, developers, anyone in the know out there who would want to get involved in a massive project to bring a brand new rugby video game to the market that is not published by EA Sports and it's not published by True Blue Games who do this game then please hit me up on Instagram because this is a project that I want to get behind I want to be the commentator I want to lay all the tracks for the commentary I want to create all the players on a modeling software I want to do all of the work. I want to contact all the teams, all the stadiums, all the players to get the licenses because that's what you need to do. And I'll do all of that. All I need is someone to, to help me create the game, the graphics, the modeling. Anyway, that's the only time I'll ever mention that. That is something I've always got going on in the back of my head. I want to be a voice for the game of rugby around the world and I will always continue to do that. Now, let's get on to this. Um, OBJ. Whoa, yeah, swear to God I'm with it. I don't see nobody in my lane is quite go get it like me. Whoa, please don't be wasting my time with that business. Who are you kidding, man? Yeah, 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 yeah. What are we going to call him? Well, I guess if we're going to go by the book, we'll go Odell Beckham. Look, I could go Beckham. I could go Beckham Jr. Actually, um, hmm. We want see. We want his. Uh, we want his name to be called when he gets the ball. So it's kind of hard to, mm, I think I might, I might make, no, they don't have Odell either. So we're going to go Beckham. I'm sure they'll have that. 
What? <laughs> oh well. All good. So, um, these statistics I'm pulling off of their NFL profile and Madden profile. And with that being said, uh, we've got Odell Beckham Jr. listed at age 27. We'll go right footed. We're going to call him American. And we're going to go like that. He's playing right wing. He's going to have extremely good handles. And I can't wait to see it. <laughs> so, we've got the preset statistics for right wing. And we're just going to change them slightly. So, we're going to say, I'm going to, I'm going to say he's pretty fit. 85. Speed, 94 as per the Madden ratings. Acceleration, 94. Aggression. Well, I know he's been known to throw a tantrum. I don't know about aggression on the field. We're going to call it 85. Agility, 90. 98. Yep, we need that out on the wing. See, what we'll find is Beckham will get the ball in space and it will be him one on one with the fullback and if he's got you know incredible agility as well as speed and acceleration that's going to put him in a fantastic position to beat that tackler even on a video game so perfect on the wing he's got 53 strength um, as a rating on Madden we're going to go breaking tackle I mean he, he's he's definitely agile right he's he's got some good handles he runs fucking fast he, he's under a 4-4 I think he ran like 4-3-8 at the comp, or maybe it was a 4 4 1, I'm not sure, but he's a 4 4 athlete. Um, with that kind of speed, doesn't matter what you're doing, you're gonna break some tackles. So we're gonna say 85. Tackling, geez, now that's where it gets interesting. Um, look, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have his tackling, oh, geez, I'm gonna have his tackling ability as his strength ability, and that's 53. Passing. I'd say if he's a good catcher, he's going to be a good passer. In fact, I think I've seen him throw a couple of touchdowns. We're going to go 90. Offloading. We'll call that 90 as well. General kicking. Look, I don't know. Look, I tend to say no. 40. Goal kicking, absolutely not. We're going to go 25. Catching. Well, if I don't give him 100 for catching, I won't give anybody a hundred for catching so he's got a hundred strength we're gonna go we're gonna go with 53 awareness sorry mental agility and discipline we're gonna take from his awareness statistics and we're gonna take however many points he is above 50 and divide it by two and share it between these two so he's 80 that's 30 above 50 divided by 2 is 15 we're gonna give him 65 mental agility and 65 discipline and um, you know if this means that the players don't play good enough when we create the full team of the players I am going to up the discipline and mental agility because if you don't have if you don't have that in the game you know the way that this game's set up they don't actually play that well and they're always out of position so it's fucking annoying anyways here he is let me get oh he's just got black hair now um oh yeah oh yeah Hey, I don't mind it. I don't mind it. He's, um, he obviously feels he doesn't need to stand out anymore. Alright. Well, I reckon that's you. I reckon... That's you. I reckon you got dark eyes. <laughs> that used to be you. But we're gonna call it a crop. Had some interesting hairstyles back in the day, didn't they? Back in old uh, 2016. Um, geez. Geez, you don't give me much to work with here. There's no fades. Basically, there's no fades. That's what I keep on looking for, right? There's a fucking... A fade. Like, everyone has these days, including myself. Right now. <laughs> but... <laughs> there weren't many going on back in...
You know what? If I put a beard on him, I reckon that's going to look good. You tell me. No. Mm, no. 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 We need something nice and solid. Mm, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Alright. We'll do that. But we've got to do something about this hair. Crop. Oh! What's that? Is that a fade? Is that about the closest thing we're going to get? Or do we go... Hang on, hang on. Did we go to his old hairstyle? <laughs> um... You know what? We have to. It'll make him stand out in the field. <laughs> Um, fuck. Which one is it? Is it that one? Pretty much, right? Is it that one? It's that one. <laughs> Boom. Okay. So he's uh, a meter 80 and 90 kg. So if we go... Ah! Fuck! <laughs> Apparently the... Uh, the, the, the classic rugby player statistics, 180 and 90 kg, okay, all good. Um, torso, he's, he's not the biggest, we're gonna, we'll make him, yeah, about that. Small stomach, definition, shredded. Um, he's got smaller arms, probably about that. Legs, yeah, probably a bit, probably about that. Leg shape, look, we're gonna we'll bring them in a bit. Um, the way that we're gonna find them on the field, not only with his hair, I think we might need to change that hair, but um, we're going to, we're gonna give him purple sleeves and purple boots, which actually looks quite cool on the field. Um, but let's get back to this hair, whoops. Is that it? Is that it? You know what? We're gonna go that. Okay. That's it guys. We're gonna save that. And that is, believe it or not, our 15th player. Our 15th player, which means we can, at the moment, field a full rugby team. But not with reserves. So I still have at least 7 players to create. But at the moment, at the moment guys, the starting lineup, okay? And we've just created our 15th player, we've got the starting lineup. Listen to this Aaron Donald, Von Miller, Khalil Mack, George Kittle, Kalei Campbell. Luke Keekley, <laughs> sorry, Luke Keekley, JJ Watt, Derek Henry, Tom Brady, Lamar Jackson, Tyreek Hill, Saquon Barkley, Leonard Fournette, Odell Beckham Jr., and Christian McCaffrey. And if that doesn't sound like a fucking incredible rugby team, then I don't know what will. Holy shit. The last thing we're going to do before we put Odell Beckham Jr as a single player in the All Blacks and sim him up in a game against the USA Eagles which we've done for every other player and if you do want to see any other player that I have created and how they go in a game by themselves in their respective positions then please go and check out those videos on my channel but for now we're, we're gonna find him see what his overall rating is which is 94 yep there he is not sure about the beard. Ah, oh, that'll have to do. Anyways, guys. Uh, yeah. There we are. Look at this. Look at this shit. There we are, guys. That's pretty much the team. And with that being said, 
Right now you're going to see Odell Beckham Jr. playing on the right wing for the mighty New Zealand All Blacks. And I hope you enjoy. I cannot wait to see how he goes. In the last video we saw uh, Tyreek Hill. And uh, I mean look at these fucking names bro. Barkley, Beckham Jr., Brady, Donald, Fournette, Henry, Hill, Jackson. I mean you've got Derek Henry at number 8. He's not even playing in the back line. Wow. Wow we. Anyways guys, enjoy the game and I'll see you on the next one. Peace out. Westpac Stadium is the venue for this match. It's held many events in its time, including the Tri-Nations game between the All Blacks and South Africa on July the 17th, 2010, which New Zealand won in a convincing display. The All Blacks are in such incredible form of late, I can only see this match going one way. With me in the commentary box is Justin Marshall. Should be pretty easy to pick the winner of this match. Yeah, no doubt about it. The field is in immaculate condition. The groundsmen have done their job very well. With these two teams and their talent, we should be in for a special day. Now the challenge from New Zealand, the Haka. I still get goosebumps every time. Almost ready to go here. Here's the kickoff. They just can't afford to be making mistakes like that from the kickoff. Your match with the first scrum of the game. Set. A brutal contest in the scrum. Furious looking scrum down there. Solid scrum and the ball's out. Now he gets the ball away. The right winger is absolutely smashed. Release. Having a go at the ball. Advantage. Ball lost forward. Advantage applies here. Good impact there, and that's what forced the knock on. Coleman gives it off now. Advantage over. Advantage over now. Julian Savi rises up to take the catch. It's there. He's been hit hard. Aaron Smith thumped into the ground. Richie McCaw grabs it out of the back. Yep, they've got him there. He's got to let it go now. And he's shaken up by that one. Reed finds a runner. And he's stopped in that one. Players in the ruck doing their job, still alive. And he's kicked that well. He's got that one in the end. Davis hands it back. And he's knocked down hard. Solid contest, won again by the USA. Goes to ground quickly. They might still have it. He spreads it. Sold the dummy. Johnson can't find support. Tackled to ground. Edwards picks it out of the back. Pass inside. Taken down in a brutal tackle. Runs it hard and fast at the defence. Abbott takes it. He buries this kick deep. The right winger lets it bounce. 
Coleman stops Grace. it. Have to release the ball now. Richie McCaw gets the ball to his support player. He gets back to his feet quickly and wrestling for the ball. The number 14 crunches it up. Good, strong run. Ma'anonu keeps it going. He pushes the pass further. Julian Sabi makes a good burst. Oh, they lost the ball. It's been brought back for the scrum. Yeah, he just lost control of the ball on that occasion. Ouch. And they'll go to a scrum. Find. Set. Davis rolls it in. Defence has looked very solid. Good pushing from both teams. Edwards is absolutely smashed. Shows a clean pair of heels. Trying to get a drive going here. Chase controls it as they try for a few more yards. Crunch to ground. It's a perfect opportunity. The opposition under pressure on the line here. And he gets in the tackle. And he's in. This is what happens from constant pressure. They continue to probe the line and they've come away with a great result. Chance to add another two here. This should turn into an easy seven points with the conversion. Edwards gets the conversion. They know they've got a chance to win this game. Kickoff is made. The kickoff snapped up. Now tackled to the ground. Release. He's trying to turn it over quickly. Barry gets it away. He crashes it up. One more roll of the dice before half time. Davis runs it at them. Go with the ball. He's been hit hard. Powerful defense. Release. Back to his feet quickly and wrestling for the ball. They are under a lot of pressure here. Banks delivers it to a runner. Edwards quite rightly bangs it into touch. So, we come to half-time. The All Blacks were expected to run away with this game, but it's been kept tight by some great work. It's a sell-out crowd here, and the players will love coming out of the tunnel to a huge roar. Well, plenty to work on in the second half, Justin. We go to the stats now. Leading in terms of territory. They'll be happy with that, I'm sure. Line breaks have been a feature so far. The defenders have struggled to keep things tight. Ready to go for the second half. Dan Carter kicks off. Brody Retallick snaps up the kickoff. Davis finds a teammate. Ball goes inside. Paul pulls him down. Banks pushes it on, gives it short, he crashes it up, Gilmore stretching out. A 
that's gone dead. I suspect they'll come back for the scrum here. There's going to be a scrum. Find. Well, it's been a pretty even contest in the scrum Set. so far. Let's see what they can do here. Alan Smith rolls it in. Both teams putting pressure on. A brutal contest in the scrum. That'll knock the wind out of him. Keeps it moving. Richie McCaw starting to stride off downfield. Release. Ball's being contested. Mialamu pumps the legs with a good charge. He's not letting go. Lovely tackle. And they drag him down. Yeah, it's a good chance to score him. Richie McCaw probing very close here. No gaps in that defence. He's holding on for dear life here. And he smashed in the tackle. Oh, it's big defence. Dan Carter Police. is trying to turn it over quickly. Tackle not complete. Keeps going. The ball's being contested. Flat pass. Tackled extremely Police. deep in his own half here. Rutgers form. He has to release. Banks pops it up. Big, big charge. Edwards was quite within his rights to kick the ball out on the full. Richie McCaw takes it nicely. Here's the pass. Moves it on. Spreads it. And he's out of the tackle. So they'll have a line out. Daniel Carter tidies up. He pushes it on. That's a lovely pass. A little one taken down in a brutal tackle. The offload definitely wasn't on there. Runs at the line. Clever dummy. And it comes back. Great work. Here comes the chase. Short one through to his support play. Punches away with this one. Mialamu takes it out of the back. And take him down. Good defence. He's having a go at the ball. And he's shaken up by that one. Adams. He's not letting go. He has a real crack at the defensive line. He keeps the ball moving. That pass was fired very flat. Johnson running at pace and power. Oh, they've only got a few minutes to make something. The All Blacks have made a complete hash of this line-out. Chase can see it in there. Quickly on there. So they look to try something with a maul. So they'll need to shift it here. A lovely tackle. The ball lost forward by the Americans. So they'll come back for the scrum here. Yeah, he couldn't handle the ball and then knocked it on. He'll be annoyed at that. And now the scrum to pack. Fine. Both teams keen to get the hit, aren't they? Set. They don't want to get beaten by the opposition. Aaron Smith puts it in. This match just about over here. 
keeps the ball moving. The number 14 with a good run, and he's into touch. The fat lady's warming up. It's almost over here. The line-out claimed against the throw. Yep, that's a more. And it's there now. Powerful defence. Well contained. Release. He's got to let it go now. Reed has the ball. He pushes the pass further. Right. Looked like a forward pass. The crowd certainly thought so. That's a basic mistake. He'll be disappointed with himself for that one. And the referee says that is it. USA have won. A good contest between these teams. Thoroughly entertaining and such an even battle. They had a problem in the number of handling errors. It was far too high, really. There were quite a number of kicks made in this match. It was a real old-fashioned kicking battle. Talk about standing up and getting hit in the face. I didn't see this one coming. So it was a match that could easily have gone either way. A very even contest. From everyone here, the crew and the commentary team, Thanks for joining us.